All right, so here are my Bose QC15 headphones. Let's get a little wider here. There we go. Nice and wide. All right, so these are the number one thing that improves your travel. Uh, they are not cheap. These ran about $300 US, but they run specials on them every once in a while. You can get them for, you know, maybe a little less than that, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so the, how they work is, uh, I don't know if you want to get into the science of it. You have the switch right here. You turn this on, you see that green light. What it does is this microphone, and I guess this one as well, record sound, uh, just ambient noise, and then what they do is they actually broadcast a lower frequency noise into your ear that cancels out that noise. But the noise that they broadcast is outside the range of typical human hearing, so you can't really hear the low frequency noise uh, that's being broadcast to you. You can just hear less overall noise. So I've had these for a long time. These are the limited edition blue ones. That's how to uh, feel superior to other people who have the QC15 headphones. The problem is, so uh, look here. You can see there's, this isn't normally neon green. You can see this uh, little ear cup came up here. So uh, what I've done is I've ordered these. Uh, these are the Bose replacement. Uh, it comes with uh, two replacement scrims, which is that little black part of that. Well, let's just open this up. All right, uh, let's do this. Okay, so uh, let's see. So this part right here, this little black cloth part, this is what they call a scrim, and this is what protects the like the nuts and bolts of the thing over here. Put this to the side, and then this is the ear pad replacement. So if I look, if I do a cursory examination of my headphones here. It looks like the scrim in here is okay. Um, here, maybe not as much. And this ear pad is actually fine. This one is obviously busted. So, I have some instructions from Bose on how to replace the ear pad. It says, or the ear cup cushion, rather. And what's really interesting is that it says to remove the ear cup, you just gently pull. Um, those of you who know me know there's not much gentle about me. Um, that was astonishingly easy. Almost concerningly easy. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Alright, so there's a little buffer here. I don't know. Okay, so let's take our new one, and hopefully this is going to be really easy. Reattaching the ear cushion. Whoosh. The ear cup cushions are held in place by a mounting flange, which snaps under the tabs in the inside room of the ear cup. Oh, it's a, it's a mounting flange. That's, that's what it is. So, let's see if we can find a mounting flange here. This right here looks a little flangey, so we'll assume that's the mounting flange. And uh, let's see here. If I had some good stock music, we would have like a little uh, carnival doo -doo 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 thing while I try to do this, and I would speed it up. Uh, but although I very regularly spend way too much money on camera gear. I don't have a stock sound library. Mainly what came with iMovie. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing down on that little plastic bit um, and whenever I hear a snap I assume it's either in the mounting flange or I've broken my QC15 headphones. Uh, let's see here. So is that is that on? No, it is not. Okay, so we're still moving here. I see a little bit right here that is still loose. We need to flange that thing. Let's see. So I'm trying to do this. Uh, I don't know if this method is what you're supposed to do. And if I was smart, I would have watched like a YouTube video on some on something like this. But instead, I made a YouTube video about it. Okay, so is this on? No, it's still not. Darn it. So this is either a video of how to fix your QC15 headphones or how to break them. Hopefully how to fix. So this still isn't in there. Part of me just wants to say screw it, but since I'm filming this, I don't want to have it on the record that I couldn't figure this out as a reasonably, not too smart, but reasonably smart enough where I can at least make that claim without being too uh, litigious, or not litigious, but inaccurate. All right, so let's look at the nuts and bolts of that. So this little bit needs to get under this little tab right there. So, oh, we heard we heard a click, and it's 
Well, it's frustrating. Um, I wish I could go back and edit this out, but honestly, that was really funny how that totally didn't work. So, if you see these little clips right here, uh, I feel like you have to get this little mounting bit right here underneath all those little clips. So, let's try it again. Alright, we heard some clips. Try to do it organized this time instead of one by one. Alright. Heard a click there. Heard anything there yet? Let's see. Haven't heard anything here yet. That's that's still not there. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Uh, is that in? Nope, it is still not. What if these are just really easy to pop off and it's been fine this whole time? I don't think that's the case. But, uh, let's see here. Nope, it's still way loose. Press the edge of the mounting flange as shown. Making sure it snaps in place all the way around the ear cup. This has turned into a long video. I thought this was going to be like a quick 30 seconds on how to fix your QC15s. But due to uh, me being an idiot, it has not turned into that. It has turned into something, um, I don't know about better, but at least longer. Oh, there we go. We heard a snap of something. Again, snaps when you're working with electronics either means something is locked in place or it is very broken. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we still have that one. We're getting close. We're getting really close. Let's uh, see here. It's definitely still loose. Let's press down right there. Nope. There, now nope. where's my little hook? I'm trying to get under. I don't know. Let's uh, press here. Nope. You know, this may be one of those videos that never gets posted because it's too long for YouTube. I think they have a 10 hour limit. Oh my gosh, we heard a snap. The earbud is a fix. The ear cup cushion, rather is affixed. I was going to go ahead and replace the other one because why wouldn't you? But now we all know the answer why we wouldn't. Because that was actually surprisingly difficult. Ugh. Anyways, this is Andy Luton from Andy's Travel Blog. And for those of you who stuck with me to the end, I hope you're giggling at me right now because that was probably much easier than I made it. Everybody take care.